Hey, what's up gamers? This is Skelemistic. Today we are going to be doing the five boxes in that walkthrough. And as you may know, I'm max level, so this is going to be the max level event walkthrough portion of this. So I'm going to go ahead and get started without any kind of waiting and see what this professor fellow wants from us. Glad you made it so fast. Quickly fill me in. Wait, that's my job? All right then, listen up. <laughs> I've hidden the telegraph box in Abbey Road, so the maestro can't spy on us. Meet me inside, and I'll explain further. Okay, then. Oh, this is like a doctor, uh, yeah, a doctor who thing. Abbey Road, on and on and on. It has been a long time since I've run through Avalon. I mean, what, two, <laughs> three, four expansions since then? All right, where do we got to go for this fella? There it is. There's our TARDIS. Yeah, this is definitely a Doctor Who kind of deal. All right. Let's see what we got going on. Whoa. It's an instance? That's kind of cool. I thought I was just going like, to go in the phone booth. <laughs> Apparently not. Like go in the phone booth and have it be like a room-sized place like the actual show does. All right. God, I'm kind of curious to see what's going on. Yes, hello. Okay, yeah, it is, so it is. It really is. I can't believe they let him rip off Doctor Who so bad. Look at this. Wow. Like a box. Yeah, no kidding. The Meister has managed to ensure that the Drakes never come to Wizard City. This path does not end well. Wizard go through to Old Dragon Spire and ensure Cyrus, Malastare, and Sylvia do not abandon their study of magic. It must not be very far back in the past then. Okay. So where's the through? Where's this portal at for this? Well, I want to check out Rose Piper before we go through this portal anyway. See what she's got to say. She gives us a pogo stick? That's kind of cool. Okay, we're buying that. Good thing I brought plenty of gold with me. Pogo sticks, huh? Heck, I'll buy all of them. Oh, okay, that's the only two you get. But that's cool, though. We'll be making those later on. That's kind of funny. All right. Off we go. I'm thinking this is our portal right here. It's got, like, the Star Trek light-up kind of thing going on. Okay. Now let's go see Vasek, see what he wants. See if I can get him from down here. Yeah, I can. Good. You there. What are you doing? I'm talking to you, dude. You're either very late for my seminar on how to stay <laughs> offensive and defensive at the same time, or very early for Blades 101. Interesting. <laughs> I love a school where they teach stuff like Blades 101. <laughs> it sounds like you're in, in Muggerville. What's that? You're not enrolled at Dragon Spire Academy? Right. That would explain the lack of uniform. Yes, it would. Ah, uh, you're searching for Cyrus and Malastair Drake. Very sad. Both have given up magic for a simpler life. Wow, this history is messed up. Okay. Try Drake Cottage. I believe Cyrus has retired up there. Okay. Where's that? Okay, let's go talk to Dr Cyrus. See what he's got going on. I like how this adventure is really enclosed within the TARDIS to where you've only got to like go room to room instead of having to travel 5,000 miles. A lot of these things are tedious just in the travel time. <coughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Check there. out Cyrus. Can I be of help? Oh, where are my manners? I'm Cyrus Drake. Uh, Very whoa. nice to meet a wizard from Wizard City. <laughs> Tell me he's How not different. Wonderful. I always wanted a chance to visit Ravenwood. No, I gave up magic. Wow. Uh, it's killing me. I don't know how much you know about Dragonspire, but the warring right. clans are dominant here. It's troubling. Right. Oh, well, I enjoyed magic, but a wise traveler, the maestro, showed me a life of pain and endless battle hmm. where I could do only harm. I wonder what this, this maestro... I so wonder... I gave up my deck of spells to focus on my painting. <laughs> painting. Do you see some? Of course not. You're busy. Maybe another time? No, there's not one painting in the room. Perhaps my brother, Malastair, can be more help to you. Mm. I've, got to, I've got to take a look at him. This is... <laughs> I think I like him better bald. That is over the top. 
We are looking at the 70s hippie version of Cyrus Drake. The mustache and goatee. Oh, <laughs> wow. Okay, there's some paintings. I was wondering. Dude, I wonder if, if they're going to offer up that painting as an item. I've got to get that. <laughs> that Cyrus Drake. <laughs> Too funny. All right, let's go see Malister. I wonder if he looks just as, just as cool as Cyrus does. Up we go. Let's see. Before I even talk to him, i got to check him out. <laughs> He's got that, that California Soho Village look <laughs> going on. Okay, let's talk. Too good. Yes, I am Malister Drake. What do you need? Uh, Cyrus told you about our conversation with the maestro. Right. Like Cyrus, I decided a life of blood and battle and death did not sound appealing. I gave both of our decks of spells to the law master. Nice. Unfortunately, my fiance Sylvia did not wish to abandon her studies. It has caused a rift between us. Mm -hmm. Although my brother takes solace in his art, I am less sure what to do with myself. So I have retired. To contemplate life's meaning. Nice. If you need more information about Sylvia, you'll have to ask her yourself. I would try the command academy. Okay then. Huh. Not really a lot to say about that just yet. Malister changed less than Cyrus did. <laughs> a little bit. The hair is definitely different, but he didn't seem like he's he's changed as much. Let's see what Sylvia looks like. Talk to Professor Doggy. Professor Doggy who? Okay. Quack, 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 quack. What do you got to say, buddy? Sylvia is at the Command Academy? Hmm. Why does that ring a bell? Anyway, let me send you there now. Okay, I'll get right on that for you. Laszlo Starblade. Where have I, I know he's been, he was in the gameplay that we've already done, but I don't remember where he was at. The Laszlo Starblade guy. Uh, the Vasek guy was the one that was in the Grand Chasm, but I don't remember Laszlo. Uh, I, I mean, I remember him, I don't remember where. Right, what do you got to say, bud? Who are you? A wizard? Uh, you wish to see Sylvia Drake? Uh. Who is that? Did you mean Sylvia Spitfire? <laughs> Spitfire, is it? Good luck trying to get an appointment with Grand General Spitfire. Mm-hmm. Well, aren't you just all of that in a bag of chips? <laughs> no, no. Let's see. Talk to, talk to Professor Doggy again. Just like with other quests that they have, I think this is going to involve... Where's that staircase? Way over there. A lot of running around back and forth. Like I said, though, at least it's in here, and it's not quite as far. What do you want? What do you want, Professor Doggy Who? Did you say Grand General Sylvia Spitfire? I did. Oh, that's not good at all. I've seen that timeline. In it, the Dragonspire army sweeps through the spiral. Everyone falls to Grand General Spitfire. Okay. It's not pretty. You must tell Melister to convince Sylvia to leave the army. Otherwise, there will be no stopping them. Right, right, I'll get right on that for you. And up we go. Malastare Drake again. What you want to do, Malastare? You need, you need to go get the wife a talk to you and see if you guys can come to some kind of a agreement here. Up we go. All right, Malastare, let's see what we're going to do, buddy. Ah, Cyrus's young friend. I don't know if I can be much help to you today. I'm <laughs> trying to master the Mushu art of haiku. <laughs> okay, then. This ought to be good. Life without magic can be barren or fruitful. A turn of the cards. Mm -hmm. Not very good, is it? I must no. mull it over. What's that? Sylvia. No, we haven't spoken since in quite some time. Her skills took her into the officer corps of the army, of course, but I don't know if She's what? <laughs> How do you like them apples, Malister? Already? Something doesn't feel right about this. Let us speak to my brother. I will follow you. Okay, you do that. Old dude's a poet and didn't know it. I love how he runs. 
Like you're smacking himself with, with that stick every time. <laughs> Look, whacking yourself in behind with a stick and get yourself to run faster. Okay, Cyrus. Okay, hippie Cyrus, what's up? Visitors, welcome, Malastare. Great to see you. I hope you've been keeping well. Would either of you like some kombucha? What's kombucha? I wonder. What's got you so worked up? Sylvia's the Grand General? I can't believe it. How did that happen so fast? We have to speak to her. I think old Meister dude had a hand in that, guys. But having given up our spell decks, we won't even be allowed into the Academy. Wizard, can you help us? Oh yeah, be glad to. The Law Master has our spell decks now. Wizard, you will have to face that implacable one in a duel to get them back. Ah, uh, surprise, surprise. There's that fight. I can't believe we went this far into it and didn't have a fight yet. All right, what are you going to do? Get your decks back. All right. Then lost your deck. Walk, 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 run, run, run. Okay. Let's go. Up we go. What do you want? I have no time for novices. The Drake's spells. Oh, she's kind of cute. Challenge me for if it? it wasn't for that glowing eyeball thing, she'd be hot. <laughs> Check it out. I mean, okay, yes, in, in a weird video game chicks <laughs> kind of way. I'm late to meet the Grand General to discuss the myriad tactical applications of Ifrit. I really don't have time for this. Yeah, you do. Let's make time. All right. Maybe one quick match. I knew you'd see it my way. All right, let's go to it. Come on, Lord Master. Let's see what you got. I'm kind of curious. This is the first fight, so I'm not thinking that she's going to be all that tough. Wow, they didn't give me nothing to start with. Phew. All right, well, I'll drop my booster right now and just wait. Anyhow, as I was saying, this being the first fight, even though she's a boss, I don't think it's going to be that tough. They never have them that bad in instances before that they, they never had them that way. And it's always that last one where they start cheating and acting stupid and everything else. Especially being also as this is a this is a special edition type thing and not a uh, regular gameplay. Okay, see there there I can use my boost right there. That's weird too. I don't have that many heals in there but they keep the one of the things that I really dislike about this with this random supposedly random generator, they always give you all your blades or all your hits or all your heals at one time never really actually randomizing it and splitting it up to where you can just smoothly go through. Uh, that's not so bad. See, she's a boss casting Stormzilla. I think we'll be okay. Oh, I'm sorry. It was the, that was the minion, wasn't it? Ooh. I'm going to have to see what she casts. Okay, there we go. I got, that's what we want. Oh, get rid of that one. Put her a nice little smooch over there. Get that potent, potent faint on her. I think I'm going to put both of my faints on her. And maybe two blades should be enough. What's this one? That was weird. It was like a plague kind of thing, but with her book. I don't need this for now. See, let me look. They give me all my heals. I only need one, though. Lady Shadow is great about healing, so... Alright. I'm thinking six turns, maybe. Something like that. Maybe eight. This depends on what the card fall is going to be. I like how she floats up every time she casts a spell. That's kind of neat. See, look at this. Wand, wand, wand. Alright, you know what? <laughs> I'm going to reach out and touch someone. It's going to be the Battle Mage. Just reach out and give her a little bit of attention because I don't have anything else to cast. Hi there, I'm home. <laughs> I don't think she was happy to see me. Okay, Minotaur. See, it's, it's yeah, it's not very high spells for a boss to be casting. I don't think we're going to have too much trouble going through this. I don't think you guys will have too much trouble going through this. Even if you decide to do it solo. 
Okay, I'm not thinking that I'm going to need that for the Battle Mage minion. But I'll put another feint on this one. And just I'll just one-hit both of them with the Forest Lord. Okay. Kraken, no biggie. Now, ordinarily, Lady Shadow would be healing me left and healing me right. Today, she seems like she might be taking a nap. Oh, she's mad at me for something. I don't know. But, all right. I would prefer to see one of my sharps, but it does not look like I want to see that. So I'm going to discard down. Two blades, two feints. I'd also like to see my Shadow Shrike come up, because I'll use that and, and boost up my power and my critical chance and definitely kill him off. This is a little nice. Get rid of that. There we go. That's what we want. Pop that on. Now, if I get my Shrike next turn, I'll use that. And just hit him right away. I don't know if you guys use the Shadow Spells or, or have the Shadow Spells or have gone through that process or whatever, but... The Shrike is really the only one that I find of much use at all. Okay, I've got a blade up there, a blade up there, and a blade up there. I can get rid of that. And I didn't see my Shrike, so I'm just going to go ahead and go for it. I'll be able to no use another Forest Lord in a minute anyway. If for some reason this doesn't kill him. I ought to just critical out on my own gear, though. I've got the Hades gear. So I should just be able to critical out on that. Should be able to. No, it didn't do it. <laughs> the minute I say it, it didn't do it. Let's see where we end up. Ah, uh, plenty. That's plenty. Yeah, we'll be all right. I think with the extra 150%, I should be able to get her. No, not quite. Is she still alive? I think maybe just barely. Oh, yeah, just barely. That's no biggie. Alright, this card, draw up. Throw one more feint on there and get her next turn. Let's see. The worst thing I've seen her cast was Minotaur, so I don't think we're going to have any trouble with this. Okay, erring on the side of caution. I was going to just hit her with a feint, but... I've seen too many times in a fight where the enemy had five life left. You, you thought for sure you was going to get them and they shorted you just a little bit. And I prefer to go over. I'm mean, not crazy overkill, but I prefer to make sure that I know that I'm going to do enough to finish it off. Okay, leave me 2,400. I almost want to heal first, but I don't want to sit here and waste a lot of time. There we go. That should be enough to burn her down. And I'll just potion it up and keep going. I should, it should go without saying, by the way, guys, if you're coming into a thing like this where you don't know how long it's going to be, how many rooms, whatever, make sure your potions are full before you come in. It's a pain in the butt to have to leave the dungeon and start it all over again because you didn't have enough life to get it. Especially if you're soloing. There we go. Finished up. Sorry, honey. You, you, were, you were cute. Sorry. <laughs> I admit I am impressed. Right. You are a cut above most battle wizards today. Thank you Here for saying so. Drake spells. Thank you for saying so. All Make right. sure you pack them when you enlist in the army. Grand General Sylvia Spitfire can do great damage with a weapon such as yourself. Oh, you think I'm going to be working for her? Okay, wrong. One of the things I like about this instance bit here is that you can be down in here inside the instance and still yet it's healing you. So if for some reason you're out of potions, you didn't remember potions or whatever, and you make it through a given fight and you have the time, you can stand here and heal up full without having to leave the instance. And I like that. I'm not really going to work. Okay, everybody. I'm going to go ahead and end this section of this five boxes event walkthrough now because it's going to be very long if I don't. I'm going to cut this in probably three parts and this will be the end of part one. 
If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. Maybe leave me a comment about other games or other series you'd like to see me play. Or if you want, just leave me a comment to talk to me because I love to talk to you guys back. This is Skeleton Mystic reminding you that whatever else you do, always love the game. Peace. Their, their, their talents are here. Cyrus is giving me Pierce and Malisar is giving me Critical. But they're not actually in the battle. All right. Get rid of that. Draw up my boost right away. I don't think I want to need that Seraph, so I'll wait on that. Good. <laughs>